year was, yeah, it was a, like you said, a pretty consistent year. Um, I think that's, that's the most important thing is to try and stay consistent as possible. If you're able to eliminate your bad games and improve on your good games, then you're only gonna gonna succeed. Uh, lucky enough, after last year, I was invited to go and trial with a few NBA teams. I think I trialed for about seven or eight. In the end, I lost count because it just seemed like I was traveling all the time, which. As you can say, it was probably a dream come true to, to go there and work out in front of some of the best coaches and GMs in the world and uh, meet some pretty amazing people. So, uh, yeah, I was very lucky enough to have the opportunity to do that. If the, if the um, lockout wasn't in place, I would have played in the summer league, but it wasn't to be. Uh, probably meeting Chris Mullen. Uh, I was shooting around in San Francisco and I was, uh, I was there with personal trainer Phil Handy. And I'm shooting jump shots, and then all of a sudden I see out the corner of my Chris Mullen turn up, and all of a sudden my shot went from making it to I was lucky if I hit the rim because I was just that nervous. Oh, huge honor, first of all. I, growing up, I could never really see myself as, uh, first of all, playing professional basketball, and second of all, being the captain. I think uh, it's a huge honor for myself, and I know my family and friends are, are greatly proud of me. Uh, not too much is going to change for me this year. Uh, I'm not a, a massive uh, speaker like on off the court, but I do tend to, to speak a lot when we're on the court. And I like to think that when I do say something, guys pay attention because it's not often that I'm out there yelling and screaming, but I just sit back and I take it in and then I'll, I'll give my feedback, which, uh, which a lot of guys uh, take a, a lucky day, appreciate that. Um, biggest difference? I think just generally we've grown as a team. I think Moose has grown as a as a coach. Um, fr from this time last year, I think it's chalk and cheese how different we are. I think the guys who were here last year are able to help the new guys this year, which we didn't have last year. And I just think uh, the guys that were brought in, guys like Aaron Bruce, Jerry Grant, Ratch, these guys are winners and they're, they're known winners and that's all they want to do. Unbelievable. Self-proclaimed, unbelievable. Muscle man. Aaron Bruce. Uh, he's a good one. Serious. Out there. It's a good guy. Our oh, athlete. You were an athlete with him. Athlete on steroids. <laughs> I think uh, if that's able to happen, it's phenomenal. It's not every day you get Australia's best player wanting to come play in your team, leaving the NBA due to circumstances that almost never happen. I think if we're able to get him, then we should be doing everything within our power to try and get him here. I know for me to play along someone like that, you can only get better. Learning from them, they've been coached by the best, trained by the best. So from being around someone like that, you can only get better. I think the whole group will benefit. Excited, can't wait. No, I'll see you guys there.